Hello, this is Splish and I hope you enjoyed that intro clip where I got a pretty sweet quad feed. It's kind of funny since that was more or less the first thing I hit when I got into Shadowline for the first time in a long time. Yes, I have been away from the game since I did play it quite some during the playtest and also in the beginning of early access. I foremost play as a sniper in all FPS games I play, so when I finally got into tier 3 and unlocked the TWD Extreme Bolt Action Sniper, I got pretty disappointed since the gun was surprisingly bad. It was everything except extreme, or extreme in a bad way. And I'm not talking damage only, but also very inconsistent. I made a video about it where I also took the gun to the shooting range to show in my book a somewhat weird mechanics that makes the gun inconsistent between shots in an odd or random manner. With this mechanic and the fact in nerf the damage on the tier 3 and tier 5 bolt action snipers when Shadowline went into early access, I then think you'll start to understand how underwhelming the bolt action snipers were at that point. In the playtest these guns were at some point almost a one shot kill in the entire body. So it's kind of understandable that they lowered the damage when going into early access. But they soon realized that it was a way too dramatic of a change, so they buffed the damage when it comes to the bolt action snipers in the latest patch saying, one shot kill to the head, neck, chest, shoulders and upper arms. No one shot kill to the belly, legs and lower arms. I believe that's fine and as it should be in a fast paced shooter like Shadowline that also has a fast time to kill. So are the tier 3 and tier 5 bolt action snipers better now after the patch? Well I can only speak for myself and my experiences when it comes to the tier 3 sniper but I guess it goes for the tier 5 sniper as well, meaning that you'll definitely get more consistent kills now hitting the upper chest or and head, but not all the time. I still get quite a few hit markers, even more that is shown in this video. Why that is happening I can't really tell, but I do know that my sniper sometimes also pushes up to the left or right slightly when taking the shot, which puts me in a tricky situation since I then do miss and mostly get killed since again the time to kill is fast and there's almost no time to even pull out your secondary. As mentioned in my previous video about this topic, I haven't really encountered something like this in other shooter games and that comes from someone that has played FPS games in almost 25 years by now, meaning thousands of hours as a sniper. I've seen sway on the gun, recoil, combination of the two, but it has always been in a consistent way or manner, so you can learn how to counter it, if you will, when shooting. Here's there's no sway to talk about and hardly no recoil at all on any guns in the game, so it is a bit frustrating when your gun, let's say every third, fourth or fifth shot, makes this push up to the left or right, away from the target when shooting, even though you are on target with your scope. I've tried to dive into this, meaning finding what causes this to happen. Am I scoping in too fast when shooting? Do I shoot a millisecond too early when I'm scoped in? Does it happen when I'm scoped in for a longer period of time when taking the shot? The answer is, I don't 100% know, because as you may see in this video, I pulled off some quick scopes and flick shots even, and a no scope or two, and it works. But then in the next shot or sequence, I either get a hit marker, even though I'm clearly in the kill zone when it comes to damage, or as described, my sniper kicks up slightly so I miss the shot. You might wonder why I focus so much on this, but let me tell you this, if this would have been a thing on a regular gun, such as an assault rifle for example in the game, people would go crazy. Imagine in shooting the first guy with full auto, the gun is on target and hardly no recall, the next guy shows up and you do the same thing, but the difference now is that your gun moves slightly up towards left or right, so the majority of your bullets will miss the target and you therefore die. Not that great. But that's about how it feels for me when this strange mechanic, as I call it, kicks in when sniping. And no, nope, it is not flinch we're talking about, since I've experienced this several times without anyone shooting at me when I'm taking the shot. I am happy though that they buffed the damage regarding the bolt action snipers, since it got me into the game or back into the game again, and also makes the bolt action snipers a viable option overall in the game again. But please, developers, 
look into this or at least explain what we are experiencing here or and why it's in the game in the first place. Thank you. With that said, I'm leaving the sniper topic partly behind me for now since I do want to mention some more changes in the patch on September 27. Snipers can be a controversial topic for some, but so can shotguns. Shotguns in Shadowline has up to now been quite useless when we're talking mid-range. So they had simply added a small damage buff for the shotguns when it comes to mid-range, which I as well believe is needed. However, as mentioned, both when it comes to for example snipers and even more shotguns for that sake, it can be a controversial weapon in a shooter, which also the developers stated when saying, Overall, the shotgun is the most controversial weapon for the community in any FPS game, Shadowline being no exception. Thus, another major part of the feedback was about shotguns being overpowered. We did our best to find any corroboration to that in our data, but we found no proof of that theory. In any case, we are closely monitoring the situation with shotguns and will react accordingly if we find any imbalanced proof in our data, including the impact of today's change in damage at mid-range. It's kind of interesting how things have changed over the years. I remember playing, for example, older Call of Duty games where the bolt act snipers were more or less a one-shot kill in the entire body and the spas 12 meaning the shotgun in modern warfare 2 shredded so hard i can sometimes miss those days when most weapons were overpowered at least compared to today's measurement of what's op or not i remember the words from a friend of mine who's working as a game developer when discussing weapon balance in fps games the best way to balance weapons he said is to make all guns overpowered well, there you go, problem solved. It has to be added that it was said with a smile and a laugh, but I do understand where he's coming from, since it can become really hard when you start to lower damage on one side of things and then buff damage on the other. It's not an easy task to be a game developer when you're trying to please everyone. At some point you will fail, since it's impossible to please them all. I also see that They've looked into drop damage a bit, something I have addressed in earlier videos, at least when it comes to the Zenith automatic rifle, meaning that precision damage was decreased for very long distances and decreased precision damage effective distance. There's been tweaks or nerfs when it comes to some submachine guns as well, so hopefully the balance in the game starts to become better. Let me know what kind of thoughts you have regarding weapon balance in Shadowline. They've also done some smaller changes in the game, for example improved session results screen, but also added a skip button after the match is over, which I've asked for, so I'm really happy for that. The in-game support tickets and player reporting has also become better, so you can now create a support ticket without exiting the game. They've also added an option to report other players for suspected cheating, exploit use or offensive behavior. You can report a player both from the game session or from the game lobby. This is very important in my opinion and I do hope that you or other players take their time to actually report suspected cheating in the game, but also offensive behavior, because we need to help each other out in order to keep games from becoming toxic in the game chat for example. There's also a lot of bug fixes that has been taken care of due to the devs, so hopefully Shadowline continues to develop and grow in a good and healthy manner, and I also hope and wish that they continue to add some more maps soon, and maybe one or two game modes as well when it comes to the PvP. The PvE, as I mentioned before, is a fun way to both rank up and have fun with a friend or two. I still wish that the grind when it comes to the tiers wasn't this slow, but if they will continue to have it as it is now, then please add double XP events every now and then, since I don't care too much about daily challenges and similar, and sometimes I don't want to or don't have the time to grind by playing the PvE events. I am glad to see that Shadowline is continuing to develop further, and I'm looking forward to new content in the game. So with that said, feel free to leave a comment on the video and also a like if you appreciated my work today as it helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Take care my friends and game on!